Hello friends, this video on integrals part 36 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 35. Take one example with this uh, uh, approach that is we will find the definite integral as limit of a sum. So we have to integrate this guy. So this formula I know is nothing bad. Uh, I'll write somewhere here. Or directly use it. Let me directly use it. So this becomes nothing but b minus a, correct, into limit of 1 by n, where n tends to infinite. And here you will say f of a, f of a plus h, f of f of a plus 2h, dash dash dash, f of e plus n minus 1 h. Correct? This is the formula we have. So let's put the values now here. So this will be same exactly I'll write here b minus a the limit 1 by n n tends to infinite right. f of a is what? f of x is x here. f of x is nothing but x. Correct? So f of a is a f of a plus h is a plus h f of a plus 2h will be a plus 2h right dot 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 a plus n minus 1h correct so if you see here this will be we'll, we'll solve this further this will again be b minus a limit n tends to infinite 1 by n into if you see a a a a so many a, how many times a? n times y. This is 0h, 1h, 2h, 2n minus 1h. So from 0 to n minus 1, if you see n times. So this is na common plus h into if you see it starts with 1, 2h, 2, 3, 4, dash, dash, dash till n minus 1. Please note here it is not till n here, it is n minus 1 here, right? Because it is a plus n minus 1h is the last term here. So this is the value here. Now using AP I know how to find the value of this. So we'll do that. So this becomes B minus A limit n tends to infinite 1 by n and A plus this is how much? H into n into n minus 1 by why? Because 1 to n is nothing but n into n plus 1 by 2. Here it is not 1 to n, here it is 1 to n minus 1. So that will be n minus 1, replace n with n minus 1, n plus 1 minus 1 that is n by 2. So that is how you get n into n minus 1 by 2. Correct. Now if you see n gets cancelled here and here. So what I am left with is b minus a into a plus h into n minus 1 by 2 correct now what is the value of h because h is tending to 0 and n is tending to infinite so let's replace this value with n you know and we know that h is nothing but b minus a the upper limit lower limit by the number of uh, rectangles we are taking so h is b minus a by n so let's replace this guy this is nothing but b minus a a plus b minus a into n minus 1 by 2 into n this is what you get you solve this further and the here limit n tends to infinite you solve this further this is nothing but b minus a into a plus b minus a by 2 into 1 minus 1 by n. Correct? And limit n tends to infinite. So now we will put the value of n. Why we have not done here? Because if we put the value of n is going to infinite here, this whole thing becomes 0, which we don't want. So we, we just try to simplify in such a way that once you put the value of uh, n, it should not become 0 or 0 by 0 form. So now let's put the value of n is infinite. So 1 by infinite is 0, this becomes 0. So what I am left with is nothing but b minus a 
into a plus b minus a by 2 that is a plus b by 2 correct and this is nothing but b plus a into b minus a that is b square minus a square by and that is my answer and please note here we are not adding any constant or something as we have done for indefinite integrals because we are not sure but in this case we know the crude area because this is my uh, graph I know from here to here this is my area no need to add in constant this is my value so what I have done here using a limit of sum I found the definite integral of this use the formula this formula and then put f of a is equal to a f of a plus h is equal to a plus h like that use the uh, formula which I learned in the APGP class correct and we please make sure it is n minus 1 here because a lot of students make a mistake here they assume this is n here this is n minus 1 here so please make mis uh, please understand this or please note this and since it is n minus 1 so this becomes n into n minus 1 by 2 instead of n into n plus 1 by 2 correct and then we solve this to get the answer so let's take one more example on this here also we define the integration of x square dx from 2 to 3 same formula we'll do b minus a b is 3 minus 2 correct uh, limit 1 by n and n tends to infinity into f of 2 plus f of 2 plus h dot 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 till f of 2 plus n minus 1 h please note this n minus 1 h correct and I know where my h is equal to b minus a by n that is b is 3 minus 2 by n that is 1 by that I know b is equal to 1 by n this much I know sorry h is equal to 1 by n so let's do one thing let's convert everything into the form of n only because I have a n tends to infinite it's better for me so let's do that so this is nothing but 3 minus 2 is 1 1 into limit 1 by n n tends to infinity f of 2 f of 2 plus 1 by n f of f of 2 plus 2 by n dot 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 f of 2 plus n minus 1 by n correct this is what you get now f of x is what x square correct f of x is x square so let's write the value so this becomes limit n tends to infinite 1 by n into f of 2 is 2 square f of 2 plus 1 by n is 2 plus 1 by n square this is 2 plus 2 by n square dot 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 2 plus n minus 1 by n whole square correct this is what you get now let's expand this we can expand this further so this if you see it will be nothing but limit of n tends to infinite here again 1 by n. Why am I expanding this? Because I want to uh, make uh, convert this into a simpler form so that I can put the value of n as infinite. If I put now, this becomes 0 by 0 form. 1 by infinite it is 0. And this will all become 0 into this. So it doesn't make sense. So I just convert this into simpler form. So let's do this. So 2 square is, I can't make it simplified further. 2 plus 1 by n square can I write 2 square plus 2 into 2 into 1 by n plus 1 by n square correct similarly 2 plus 2 by n square can I write as 2 square plus 2 into 2 into 2 by n plus 2 by n square like that this guy can write as 2 square plus 2 into 2 into n minus 1 by n plus n minus n by n square correct so you see here there is a pattern here I will show you the pattern here is this is 2 square 2 square 2 square 2 square so many times that is 2 square plus 2 square plus 2 square so many times we have right plus if you see here 2 into 2 is common Correct, then we have 1 by n, 2 by n, 3 by n, like this. So I'll say 2 into 2 is 4 is common. 
right? You see element 4 is common. Then you have 1 by n plus 2 by n plus 3 by n plus 4 by n dot 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 till n minus 1 by n. Similarly, we have this pattern here 1 by n square, 2 by n square, 3 by n square. That is 1 by n square, 1 by sorry, 2 by n square, 3 by n square, 4 by n square dot 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 till infinite. Correct? So we can sim simplify this further actually. So this if you see, I'll write here. Let me write first here limit n tends to infinity 1 by n. This is how many times? n times, right? 2 square, 2 square, there are n times. So this becomes n into 2 square is 4. This becomes 4 correct plus here if you see my 4 by if you see 1 by n is also common here so let's say 4 by n 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus till n minus 1 correct here also if you see 1 by n square is again more common here so I can take 1 by n square common this will become 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square dot dot n minus 1 square now let's use our APGB formula. Correct? The formula is 4n is 4n, 4 by n. How much is this? 1 plus 2 plus 3 till n, n minus 1. That is nothing but n into n minus 1 by 2. How we have done this in the last, just the problem before this, plus 1 by n square into, what is this? a square, 1 square, 2 square, 3 square to n minus 1. How much is this? This is nothing but 1 by 6 into n into n minus 1 into 2n minus 1. Correct? This is what the value is. And now if you want, you can simplify this further actually. If you see, this n cancels with this n this guy and cancel with this guy right so you have a little simplified version so if you if you cancel this guy also now everywhere so what what you'll get if you multiply this guy with this so what you'll get here is nothing but i'll write here that is nothing but limit n tends to zero four one by n into four is how much four so it becomes four and what is this this is two actually right so plus 2 into n minus 1 by n plus if you see here 1 by 6 into n minus 1 by n is 1 into 2n minus 1 is by n is 1 because 1 n I am taking from here 1 n I am taking from here correct so this guy is nothing but if you see 4 plus 2 into 1 minus 1 by n same thing I am writing 1 minus 1 by n because I will put n is infinite now plus 1 by 6 into 1 minus 1 by n into 2 minus 1 by n. Correct. And now let me put n is equal to here also limit n tends to infinity. Now if I put n is equal to infinity here what I get here is I will just solve it here. I will put a space here. If I put n is equal to infinity here this becomes 4 plus 2 into 1 minus 0 that is 2 plus 1 by 6 into 1 minus 0 is 1 into 2 minus 0 is 2 1 into 2 that is 2 that is 4 plus 2 6 plus 1 by 3 that is nothing but 19 by 3 and that is my answer so it is a little lengthy but not that difficult if you see if you just applied the formula I got these values and then I wrote this value as 2 square, 2 plus 1 by n square, blah, blah, blah. And then I expanded this. I found the pattern. I grouped this 2 square form. I grouped this 1 by n form. I grouped 1 by n square form. And then use an APGB formula and got the answer. Let's take a moment. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.